<sighs> Sorry, it's just fucking very hot. It's, there's summer in it. I mean, do you know what? I have to wear this on stage at like fucking oh, in the sun and oh. it's gonna be so warm. I, do you know what? I'm taking this jacket off because it's just ridiculous. And this hat as well. I love the hat, but it's gotta go. Do you not get it all else off though? Not today anyway. No, don't take that the wrong way. All right. And point is, I'm doing a review. I'm reviewing summer. I'm right into these reviews, I'm sorry. Alright, what I'm reviewing today, like, how much tape we got? I think we got 20 odd minutes. I should get this review done. Alright, I'm going to review a film this time. Fuck knows what category it's going to be. I'll think about it. But I'll figure out what film. Alright, just give us a minute. It's a right good. Something good again. Eh? Oh, yes. Something right good. I said I'd do it. And I am going to do it. <sighs> like, one of the best films you will ever see in your entire life. This film, The Dark Knight. Oh. <gasps> oh so good. Oh. Now, before we start this, I've got to say I'm, I love Batman. Right? Grew up on Batman. Tim Burton films. The uh, thing is, Batman, before, he, he had a weird track record for films. It started off in like 60s and 70s, like Adam West. I don't know if you ever watched him, but it's like, get over there, Robin. It's like, Robin's like, holy schmoly, Batman. And it was, oh, so cheesy but brilliant. It's like, episode at end, where they'd be like, stuck on this giant crank that's turning and like, he would do always stupid traps. I watched one, right? Once, it was stupid. It was like a room where like, these balloons were popping. And once the last balloon would pop, then there'd be no oxygen in the room and they'd die. And it's like, will the Cape Crusader escape? Found out next week. And it's, yeah. That's basically what Batman used to be. It was just, it was just a comic book, classic comic book. But then, 1980s, Frank Miller released, I think I've got it actually. My opinion, best graphic novel ever. If I can find it. Sorry, where, where is it? Have I got it in here? Oh, I have, I have three at the bottom, though, which is quite annoying. This, you probably know where it is already if you like Batman. Dark Knight Returns. Got that HMV for eight quid. HMV. Top dog for music. Why am I advertising HMV? But yeah, point is, that would, that changed it. That changed everything. Dark Knight Returns. Dark, Batman became this dark character. Gotham City became scum. Proper scum, not like these bloody stupid gases that they make. You know what I mean? Joker actually killed people. Properly. And Batman changed into this dark figure. And this film, this has been highly influ Dark Knight Returns highly influences. I think the Tim Burton films, they came out, they were influenced by it. They were brilliant films. I really like them films. And then, they bloody spoiled it, didn't they? They were doing right well. Then they brought out Batman Forever, Batman Robin, and they just fucked up. Bringing Robin into it. And then, Batgirl, yeah, that's the name. Batgirl just fucked everything up. In my opinion. But then, Christopher Nolan created Batman Begins. And that completely changed it again. It made a more human, more believable saying and this is followed up from it very very well and I love The Dark Knight I think it's an absolute landmark in the film industry I couldn't believe it I saw it six times in pictures which for me is quite a record I saw Iron Man four times that's the only other film I've seen more. well yeah Dark Knight I've seen most it deserves all credit it gets. Now, if you haven't seen this film, there's something wrong with you. I don't know how you can't have seen it, because this film has changed, it's broke so many records, it deserves it. Because it's not really a superhero movie. It's really unique. Now, I know this is cliche, I know I'm stepping on normal territory, I know other people have said this, but Heath Ledger's Joker 
it's absolute inspiration. It's I've never seen anything like it in my life. Completely blew me away. Because I remember a couple of years before it came out, I, I like read that Heath Ledger were going to be a joker, and I just thought, what the hell are they doing? Because I, I know Nicholson were great, but Joker has to be thin and like, yeah, you know what I mean? He's got to have that big mouth, and go, ah, you know, stretch his face. And Heath Ledger, all he ever plays is like some posh English toughing as bastard. I'm not criticising for what he was. Heath Ledger was fantastic, but he was. I thought he was unsuitable for this kind of film because all he ever played, he just played the same. Well, I love a nice title, by the way. That's a great film, but. The thought of him being the Joker, I wrote, one of the greatest comic book villains ever. It was quite amazing. But he pulled it off. He bloody pulled it off. I couldn't believe it. This is one of the best performances I've ever seen in my life. It's such a shame he died, because he would... I think he'd have done some race stuff in the film industry. It really is amazing. He's like, oh, this bloody weight right on here. Yeah. Just give me a minute. I'll keep talking. It's just, the point is, he Ledger was great, completely changed it, and Christian Bale as well, I think he was perfectly cast as Batman, because, well, it explains it in DVD, you're going to think I'm nicking this from DVD, but I'm not actually, I actually thought about this before, but the point is, he can play so many roles, they say in DVD that he had three roles, that he had, like, Batman, then Bruce Wayne, private, then Bruce Wayne, public. And if you look, it right, he, he does like three separate roles. I don't know if you've seen American Psycho, but I watched that and oh, it completely blew me away how much of a nutter he can play. That bloke, he's an absolute genius, Christian Bale. All he's famous for now is that bloody rant he had on Terminator Salvation set, and it's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. It's been very well cast this film, and I'm quite surprised at the amount of British actors that are in it as well, which is very good. Music, music's very important. It casts mood very well. You see, the thing with Batman, it's always been very epic, but this soundtrack, it's just so minimal. It's like the Joker's like theme. It's just one note, literally. It's just one note on a. I don't know what it is, violin is it, or cello, bio, you know, some sort of string instrument, I'm not very good with orchestrals, but, yeah, that one note, it's, you know something's going to happen when you hear that note, it's so good, 